Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm Busy Dad. Today, on this nice weekend day for me, we're making kiwi tarts. Let's see how we can do it. Today we're making a kiwi tart. If that sounds a little bit random, I kind of agree. But we've got kiwis, and we're going to do something with them. Now, I'm not following a straight-up recipe here, but I'm going to point out that every recipe I looked at started with the idea that you should go buy a pre-made pie crust. And I kind of didn't like that, and I wanted to make my own. If you think about it, a pie crust is basically a cookie, and it's about half of the pie. So I think it's pretty important if you've got time to make your own. So that's what we're going to do all-purpose flour, decent amount of sugar, and most importantly we need oil. You can use butter and shortening, but I think a better thing to do if you're making any kind of fruit or citrus based tart is to use olive oil. We do have a little bit of butter here, we're going to add the flavor, but we're also going to use olive oil. There's a couple reasons that might be good. I got this idea from a Cook's Illustrated magazine. I wouldn't recommend using just olive oil if you're using if you're making like a a, um, a dairy-based cake, like a cheesecake or something. All right, so we're gonna mix this up, and you you notice I didn't add very much oil. I'm gonna have to add more, I know, but I'm gonna basically add as much oil as I need to to make this the right consistency. Actually, I might have got it pretty close there. This is a fairly small portion, of course. We're only going to make two tarts. This is kind of a test. So we need to slice up our mango. And I'm going to attempt to make these into kind of slices that can be put easily onto a tart. So something about this shape. So after a little bit of trial and error, I decided that it was easiest to slice the kiwis into this shape and then take off the skin. Once we're done with that, we're going to make our little tart bases. I'm going to take about half of my pie paste here, flatten it out real good with clean hands. And then put it onto my greased baking sheet. And I'll leave like a little indentation in the middle where I want the kiwis to go. I bet if you were careful you could get these perfectly round, um, but I haven't. One, two. I'm going to lay our kiwis on top. Sure, there are very artistic ways to do this, but my tartlets are not quite big enough. I think I'm happy with this. So we're going to top these with two things. One is going to be a light sprinkling of lemon juice. You should use fresh, but I'm using canned. And then a little spray of coconut oil. And then, these are going into a preheated 360 degree oven. I don't quite know exactly how long to bake these for, and that's part of the reason that I've made two. I'm going to take one out earlier than the other, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, our tarts are out of the oven. They're arranged on a plate just about as pretty as I can make them. And before I get into these, I want to pause and say one or two things about them. The first thing is, 
I'm pretty sure I use too much sugar. And that surprises me. Because I usually use too little sugar. And I didn't feel like I was going overboard, but from the crumble of these, I think I might be. Number two. I'm pretty sure this olive oil thing is going to lead to an amazing texture, but I'm not sure about the taste. I think you would want to try this before you use this maybe for guests. Alright, let's go in and try it. This one's cooked for about 15 minutes. This is about 19 minutes. And they look about the same. At 10 minutes, neither one was done. And what's happened so far is the fruit has cooked, and so it smells great. I'm going to give it a try. Mmm! That is good. The sugar is not overwhelming when it's with the acidity of the fruit. But again, I'm not sure about that olive oil. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do it more half and half. Olive oil and butter next time. The other thing I would do is I would make these thicker. I would make them thicker this way. And I would leave a little well in the middle. I'd make them bigger maybe so I could arrange the kiwis in a little spiral. Finally, you could try an egg glaze on top of these. These kiwis have gotten a little less green than they were at the beginning. Here's a little bit of extra I had, and this is much more green. I kind of like this. So an egg glaze might work well. Well, that's it. This was my self-challenge. These taste good, but I think I could do better. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching.